Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough playlist of the OCR MEI 2018 new A-level maths paper 2 which is uh, pure mathematics and statistics. As always, I'm doing every question in its own video. You can get to the playlist down below. I'll link the website down there as well so you can get the paper. Um, also down there will be paper 1 and paper 3. If you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome. Okay, let's go. Okay, question 10, we have some fun with the normal distribution. So the screenshot in figure 10 shows the probability distribution for the discrete, sorry, the continuous random variable x, where x is normally distributed mu sigma squared. We are told that the area of each of the unshaded regions here under the curve is 0.025. The lower boundary of the shaded region is at 16.45. Two, and the upper boundary of the shaded region is at 21.548. Part 1 for one mark wants us to calculate the value of mu. So mu is the mean of the distribution. It's slap bang in the middle. So mu is the midpoint of uh, 16.452 and 21.548. So mu is 16.5 uh, 452 add 21.548 uh, all over 2 now that quite nicely gives us mu is equal to 19 Okay, so let's put that on here. Okay, then part two for three marks wants us to calculate sigma squared the variance. So, for this, we're going to need to standardize. So that's when we get Z involved. So, remember that. Let's change color. So, part two. So, Z is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. Now Z is equal to X bar minus mu over sigma. Now, if we just sketched the distribution for Z, going to look something like that. Now, I'm going to use the upper bound of our distribution. So I'm going to find the upper Z value. Now, I know then, we know, that the area to the left of that is 0 0.975 because the area to the right is 0.025 So, we can use our calculators to find the Z value. We are also given percentage points at the start of the paper, but 
from my experience, no one understands which ones to use. So instead, let's use our calculators. So, going to distribution, you want the inverse normal. For the area, you put in 0 0.975. For uh, mu, put in 0 and sigma, put in 1. Now that's going to give us that z is equal to 1.96 for you to 3 sig fix. So that tells us then 1.96 is equal to, well, x bar is the upper bound of this guy. So 21.548 minus mu which is 19 over sigma so multiply through by sigma and divide through by 1.96 we get Sigma is 21.548 minus 19 over 1.96. Now that gives us sigma is equal to 1.3. So sigma squared is equal to uh, 1.3. 6, 9, boom. Okay, then for part 3, uh, y is the random variable given by y is 4x add 5. So, let's think about that. y is such that every x value gets multiplied by 4 and has 5 added to it. Part A wants us to write down the distribution of Y. So, we know that Y is still normally distributed. So it's going to have mu and sigma squared. Now again, let's think about what we are doing to each of the X values. We are multiplying them by 4 and making them and then adding 5. So, what's that going to do to the mean? That is going to do exactly the same as we're doing to each x value. So, mu is 4 times the mean of x, which is 19, add 5, which is uh, 76 and 5, 81. Now, what about the variance? Well, adding 5 to every set or every piece of data in X doesn't do anything to the standard deviation or the variance because we're just adding 5 to them all. So, in terms of the space between the values, it's still exactly the same. But, we are multiplying each X value by 4. So that's going to make the distance between each x value 4 times bigger. So the standard deviation sigma is going to be 4 times what it was above. So the standard deviation above was 1.3 So, the variance is that squared, so it's going to be 16 times 1.69, and that gives us 27.04. So, y has a normal distribution with mu 81 
and variance 27.0 full. Cool. Okay, then the final part for one mark. One says to find the probability y is greater than 90. One mark. We can do this straight away in our calculators. So, go to distribution. We want normal C, D. Put in for the lower bound, 90. Put in something huge for the upper bound. So I'm putting 1,000. Uh, we need sigma. So sigma is the square root of 27.04, which is roughly 5.2. Mu is 81. Put those in, press equals, and we should get the probability y is greater than 90 is 0 0.0417. Boom.